Hey guys, I'm in Sri Lanka and there is a very strange stone artifact in a place called Ranmasu Vijana. Here, in an isolated place, you can find this weird circular carving which has baffled both archaeologists and visitors. It has a very complex design which looks similar to an electric circuit diagram or a technical drawing. And people of Sri Lanka believe that this is a stargate, a portal through which gods came from different planets. Archaeologists do not know when it was created, but it is generally accepted that this is about 6,500 years old which means that you're looking at one of the oldest carvings in the world. This is older than the pyramids in Egypt and the Stonehenge in England. But what is the meaning of this complex carving? This is known as Sakwala Chakraya in Sri Lanka, which means the wheel of the universe. Sakwala means universe in Sinhala language and Chakraya means wheel in Tamil and Sanskrit. Why is it called the wheel of the universe? And more importantly, if mainstream archaeologists believe that this is just a simple stone carving, why is it protected with an iron fence? Locals say that there is a strange energy coming out this carving at certain times and it is not advisable to stand or sit very close to it. Here is an elderly gentleman who tries to show me that the Stargate emits strange energy. He demonstrates this by using a sacred object tied to a string and it begins rotating right away. This rotating motion can be easily faked, but I do have something called an EMF detector. This will show even very small changes in energies, and you can see that the EMF meter's needle immediately goes all the way to the other side, which means there's a very high level of energy coming from this. This meter only shows up to 5 milligauss, but this rock must be emitting a much higher level of magnetic flux. This clearly means that there is something strange going on here. What is even stranger is that this is not a continuous flux and we can see this only at certain times. When I tested this again a few minutes later, there was no reading. Remember, I have already shown you yet another stargate in India. This place has been completely fenced off, so there was no way to detect the EMF there. What is the purpose of these stargates? According to Sri Lankans, this six foot tall stargate is not only a portal through which the gods came down from the sky, but if used properly, even human beings can travel to other parts of the universe through the Stargate. We can see that there are several seeds carved right in front of this carving. Locals insist that if human beings sit long enough and absorb the energy coming out of it, they would be able to travel and reach the gods. Another theory is that focusing intensely on these seven circles in the middle of the diagram would cause hallucinations and induce astral travel and other psychedelic experiences. Some people also believe that Lord Buddha himself visited the Stargate at least three times and he was able to operate this and travel to other planets. Some tantric Buddhists still visit this place at night, light up oil lamps, 
and go into a very deep state of meditation in an attempt to open the store gate. It is believed that intense focusing or touching these symbols in a specific combination can open the portal to heavens. The Western world believes that the concept of ancient aliens started in the last 50 years, but in the Asian continent, people have believed this for thousands of years. This gentleman who meditates daily in this place believes that Hindu gods came to earth using this stargate. Yo, Skanda. 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 So, Vajra means youth, no? So, they also aim this. Uh, properly and uh, exactly, you cannot say that, but the, slightly the, we are getting that smell, the shadow. It is not from this uh, world. As you can see, he has never seen or heard anything about the term ancient aliens, but you can see how firmly he believes that gods came down from the sky. Archaeologists have completely denied that this chakra has anything to do with aliens or advanced technology. However, what they claim is even more baffling. Mainstream archaeologists insist that this is a world map and it is the oldest world map that exists, but they offer no evidences to prove this theory. If mainstream archaeologists are right, how did early human beings, who according to them were primitive people, carve such an advanced diagram? The carving is so technically advanced that no one is able to decode it even today. It has plenty of symbols which are similar to modern day gadgets we use. These two concentric circles look remarkably similar to induction coils or magnetic coils. Right next to the coil in the center, we can also see a sine wave. Is this a coincidence or does it actually symbolize electricity. There are many small circles with crosses inside which look identical to the top view of today's screws. What is fascinating is that these screws seem to be holding several rectangular compartments. This is the same technique we use in many of the devices today. Finally, there are two symbols on the left and the right side which look remarkably similar to a flip switch and a reset button we use today. The only features which don't look like technological devices are the series of aquatic animals found in the outer ring. While everything inside can be explained with technology, the outer ring shows many types of fish, crabs, turtles, and even seahorses and mermaids. Why are these aquatic animals carved here? How are they connected to this complex technical diagram inside the circle? With so many complex symbols and figures carved on the rock, archaeologists and historians find almost no inscriptions explaining what this actually is. On the rock, archaeologists have found two cryptic words, Panati Panasa, which denotes the number 53. The total number of shapes and figures are equal to 53 because there are 20 figures and 33 symbols in this carving. 
And some claim that the outer ring containing various animals can be rotated to match the secret symbols inside, which will activate the Stargate. I'm not sure if this is just a diagram of a Stargate or if it is an actual Stargate which can be used for teleportation. Even if you believe that this is just a map, this is the oldest map in the world, so it is very unique. So what do you think? Did ancient builders use this as a stargate? Does this contain the secret key for space travel, or is it just a map? If it is just a map, how do you explain the EMF energy emitting from it? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Pravin Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.